the leaders of Germany and France are working together to ease tensions in eastern Ukraine between government forces and the Russia backed rebels. And Paul E is joining us to tell us more. Paul, let's get straight to it. There's been a huge development on the front lines of this conflict. That's right. An announcement straight from the pro Russian separatist leaders in the last few hours. Details in agreement reached with Ukrainian authorities. A temporary truce has been declared to create a humanitarian corridor that will allow civilians to escape the deadly fighting. This as a diplomatic blitz by Western leaders is preparing to head to Moscow with a long-term peace proposal. Our Son Jung-in has this report. The leaders of Germany and France have proposed a new peace initiative for Ukraine, raising hopes of a breakthrough in the year-old conflict pitting Kiev against separatist rebels in eastern Ukraine. Angela Merkel and François Hollande said they have worked together to draft a proposal based on Ukraine's territorial integrity and hope it will be acceptable to both sides in the conflict. The high-level diplomatic maneuver is seen as an apparent bid to head off U.S. consideration of lethal military aid for the Ukrainian government in its war against the Russian-backed separatists. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, who had arrived in Kiev earlier, met with Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko and other top officials to affirm U.S. support for a diplomatic resolution to the conflict. Kerry also urged Moscow to show its commitment to a peaceful solution and to cease its military support for the separatists, an allegation that Russia strongly denies. Fierce fighting has flared again in the region in recent weeks, with rebels advancing on a railway hub held by Ukrainian troops after launching an offensive that scuppered a five-month-old ceasefire. According to the United Nations, the fighting has claimed more than 5,000 lives since April last year, including some 220 civilians killed in just the past three weeks. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.